Hello, today I want to tell about how sequence and genome is searched for the certain genes um, inside that sequence and genome. Um, everyone probably or most of you know that uh, um, double-stranded DNA is consists of four nucleotides. It is adenine, thymine, and guanine, and cytosine. And one of the uh, way to find uh, the genes inside those sequence is a method uh, that called open reading frame. And um, actually, there is six possible uh, frames that goes uh, in one direction, three of them, and another one goes in the opposite direction. Um, so there is two ends of the uh, each backbone. This is one called five end, and another one is a three end. And the other backbone also have a five and three uh, ending, and. Uh, As you can see here, they both go in the opposite directions, and um, all this uh, um, adenine and thymine they form uh, both uh, uh, complementary uh, pairs. They complementary to each other as long as uh, guanine and cytosine. Um, so these four letters of life actually form the uh, um, life itself. So we'll start uh, here with first open reading frame. It can be read from the first letter A, T, G, and second one T, G, A. We just move it one letter and we still move one more letter. This is going to be third uh, open frame and this is going to start from G, then A and C. So we have three open reading frames uh, for one backbone and we also have uh, another backbone that is complementary to the first one and goes in the opposite direction and we have also considered it as the source of the genes. So the genes actually can be on any of the uh, backbone of the DNA. Uh, so we have number four, number five, um, it goes T, G and T for the last one. This is the second frame. Um, so when we look for those uh, frames, we actually looking for the um, way the start codon that is ATG or we are looking for the stop codon that is usually in eukaryotes is TAA, TAG or TAG. In prokaryotes, they can be different, slightly different, but uh, in most cases, um, they are the same. So the next thing that we are looking for is uh, the gene length, because uh, when we read in open reading frames, sometimes uh, genes um, can be found um, occasionally, but they're too short to be real genes. So we have to look for the longer genes that actually may form a polypeptide chain like two um, lines on top. This is mostly what can be the real gene, not those that is below, because they are too short. And they actually lie uh, within those two big uh, uh, genes. Uh, in prokaryotes like bacteria there can be uh, um, genes that uh, lie within other genes 
but in different reading frame. Uh, but in eukaryotes, uh, animals and plants, uh, it's very rare because uh, in most cases um, uh, there is uh, introns and uh, exons and between genes there is a lot of uh, space that is formed by so-called junk DNA uh, most of it uh, just uh, called so because it represents actually um, uh, ancient viruses that is no longer uh, uh, functional but still they take a lot of space in our DNA. Actually um, up to 44 percent of our DNA is can be considered uh, like junk DNA and um, there is uh, exon usually they uh, uh, divided by introns sometimes even introns uh, this is not coding sequence uh, of protein uh, they those introns can be longer than exons itself exons that is uh, later um, um, translated to uh, polypeptide chain and there is certain uh, sequence on the both sides of the exon and tron and um, this is how introns can be found um, introns is later excised from the message RNA and um, you can see that um, part of uh, the sequence lies within exon and partly it lies within intron um, so by knowing this sequence we can find intron but such sequence also happens within exon so this makes uh, uh, it's sometimes rather really difficult to find also so PY uh, represents here pyrimidine. It can be a any cytosine or thymine, and N is represent uh, any nucleotide, and then it goes CAG T. So uh, CAG, uh, and this is going to be the end of the intron. Uh, so this is actually how it works uh, but there is uh, not the only one way how to find the genes uh, I will tell you later about other uh, ways to find the genes within sequence okay thank you for your attention uh, that's all for today